Hello, I'm Fiona Walker, and my new book, Kiss and Tell, is out now. I adore strong-willed, funny women. I love sexy men, and I've had a lifelong passion for horses. So bringing all three together in a book has been a joy. I grew up reading Bonk Busters by Jilly Cooper, Jackie Collins and Shirley Conran, who became unofficial godmothers to certainly me and, and many of my generation of writers. My friends and I at school used to pull these books and they were really our sex education and our, our romantic guides. We borrowed them off our mother's bookshelves and they were so much more exciting than the agony columns in our teen magazines. And nowadays I get letters from teenage girls saying that they discovered my books on their mother's bookshelves and that they share them with their friends and they're addicted to them. And that is so gratifying to have come full circle. Of all the characters I've written, I get more letters asking me to bring back Tash French than any other. I think there's something about Tash's headstrong, kind-heartedness and optimism that really appeals to people. And I also think it's a lot to do with the fact I gave her the sexiest hero in Hugo Beecham, who is so quick-witted and boundlessly charming and has more unreconstructed male sex appeal than a room full of Marlborough men. In Kiss and Chell, we join the Beecham's 10 years into marriage, where they're juggling a young family with life on the international horse trials circuit. Hugo's at the top of his game and away competing a lot, which leaves Tash holding the baby and catching life's curveballs. One of those curveballs is the attention of a fearless and very charismatic New Zealand three-day event rider called Lok Strachan. Love triangles are heaven for a writer because that combination of intense attraction and rivalry is so emotive. When the three people involved compete at the same sport, their passions are enacted in public as well as in private. And when that sport is as dangerous as three-day eventing, it's nail-biting stuff. Action in Kiss and Tell takes place in both hemispheres and on both sides of the Atlantic, as well as across continental Europe and in some of the lushest corners of rural Britain. It's unashamedly big and sexy, a page-turning gallop through the lives and loves of horsemen and horsewomen, their highs and their lows, their leg-ups and their leg-overs. It's warm, it's funny, and it's escapism at its rompiest. I hope it gives you lots of fun and pleasure.